Joining us, Anderson County students will see a new face around the schools this year. That's right. The Sheriff's Office has provided a K-9 as part of the school resource officer team for 10 years now. But the original K-9, who everyone knows as Al, will be retiring soon. Well, new here at 530 WATE Six Finger Side reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us here in the studio. So, Kirsty, this week for the first time, uh, students are meeting the next K-9, taking Al's spot. Take a look. He can smell drugs. Yeah, he basically just protects the school. Al's been walking around these halls for 10 years. He's an SRO, just like his handler, Deputy Kim Lay. They're utilized to detect drugs in the schools, and keeping our drugs free is very important for us. Al was also trained for search and rescue. Deputy Lay says detecting drugs and deterring students from using them are the main priorities for Al and soon Max. This is Max. I know that dogs have great sense of smell, so yeah. they, so a dog can easily sniff out um, bad things around the school. The students know when Al and Max are working and to not pet them during those times. When they aren't sniffing for drugs, kids learn about what the canines can do and help them feel more comfortable talking with the SROs. It's a segue into allowing the children to have something to engage the SRO officer about. Using a lab in the schools is important because they're not, you know, they're just got a friendly face and the kids love him. Wait. Wait. All 17 schools in the district. Max, by the way, is extra special because he was adopted from the Knoxville Lab Rescue, which helped the department save a few thousand dollars.